Everybody good? Yes, sir. All right. Well, amazing, right, to have the second UFC Noche in, in history. I mean, uh, how excited are you, obviously, as a, a Mexican fighter, that the UFC is making this commitment to doing a celebration like this? Honestly, it's amazing. I'm, I'm proud of everything that Mexico is doing, you know, the fighters, um, the UFC Performance Institute in Mexico. I mean, it's huge, and it's been a work for so long, long and long, and I'm just so excited to be part of this Noche UFC again. I know you talk about being a part, but uh, you're kind of the face of Mexican UFC right now, right? Is that, <laughs> is that a wild realization for you? I mean, I know you saw the pioneers that kind of laid the crown, but you've kind of become the face of it. Well, I mean, it's right now, um, because I'm the only champion, but we have a lot of athletes. You know, we had the first Brandon, and before of him, we, there was a lot of uh, Lupi, Irene, Pantera. I mean, El Loco Torres. I mean, there's a, new, there's a lot of new athletes that are coming from Mexico that are showing their heart, the skill, you know, so tough and it's great to be part of that group. Yeah. The first uh, UFC Noche, obviously a special night for you, but uh, just what, what were your thoughts of the presentation and, and just overall what the UFC did in terms of you know how they presented it? It was amazing. I saw the event in the on TV after the show because on the day of the fight I was just focused on myself, but it was really cool. I saw the, the lights, you know, the decoration, all details was really, really nice. I'm proud of the place I come from. Mexico has a lot of history, culture, so it's it's really cool that you guys are enjoying, that you like our, you know, our future, our past, like everything that we are doing. So it's it's really nice that people are looking Mexico with, you know, this kind of eyes. And now a tier above the sphere, this amazing venue right behind you. I mean, what are your thoughts about UFC Noche in the sphere? Well, this is a special, you know, this will be the first uh, MMA event in the sphere. Um, I think it's going to be huge. I mean, it's a different place, different uh, way they're going to put like the order. I have no idea how the fight's going to be placed there. So it's inspiring and it's um, intri intriguing, how do I say, you know, in interesting to know how this going to be. and. Just excited as you. <laughs> all right, we're all excited to see it. Uh, we're watching the Ultimate Fighter play out right now. I, I guess tell us, give, give us your thoughts on kind of watching that thing play out that you were a huge part of. Yeah, being part of the Ultimate Fighter was uh, huge for me too because I was able to learn. I mean, I'm not a coach, uh, I'm an athlete, but I learn a lot how my coaches are working, how tough they have to be, you know, in every single aspect of the training, the, the everything, you know, and, and not just for a one athlete, a few athletes. So um, there was one day that I hugged my coaches and I say, guys, I love you so much. And I truly, I'm truly thankful for everything you, you do for us. And the thing I learned the most is how to be a better athlete, how to be a better student, how to be a better teammate and how to be, you know, better at, at everything I do. And it was really, really cool, the experience to be there. The guys that were part of the show are so tough, are so skilled, like being in a house, no cell phone no books no music no nothing no doors like man it was it was really hard so i try my best to make them feel comfortable at home and and not to pressure them you know to just leave them they are already professionals so i just told him guys this is what i know if you need me i'm here for you and and i think it's it's working really really good now we're three three one so it's it's really cool Love it. last thing for me how incredible like how different do you think this fight is going to be right like i mean the last time it's you're a huge underdog and uh, who can beat her and all these things. I mean, now you spend time around her. Like, <laughs> how much different is this? Well, it's um, we have a long time, you know, spending together. We know each other. We've been facing like um, the same person again and again and again. So I know, um, I know a lot more <laughs> now. I'm just super excited to be fighting a girl. Like, it's, it's the fight that I would like to have. You know, um, it's it's something. That, the trilogy is something I would truly love, you know, because it will be the first trilogy from women's in MMA. Uh, both we were coaches in the TUF. Um, I'm from Mexico, she's from Kyrgyzstan, so um, we have a lot of history, and, and I'm truly inspired to be competing as, with someone as her, you know, at this high, high level. Valentina didn't seem overly interested in fighting on Mexico and Penn State, and she said, you know, maybe another day because she thought the judges were swayed last fight. Have you had any conversations like that fight is? 100% Well, possible? that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the fight I would like that to happen. I mean, I have to be part of Noche with Fese, you know. Um, how can I not be part of Noche with Fese this year? So I just truly hope that she, she can 
accept the fight and, and I mean it's good for both of us you know <laughs> so is there a world where you have to fight someone like Manon instead of Valentina in North Jersey? yes I think that's um, that's her opportunity too I mean she's the number two contender I think and she's been having like a nice winning streak so um, just in case if, if it's not Valentina it's, I think it's gonna be Manon and have they told you anything about the rest of the card because I know Ilya and Max have been like rumored to be on this card <laughs> and you know, Rob and Sean have both been asking to be on this card so we have a possibility of three title fights I'm the, I'm the same as you I'm asking <laughs> every day I'm asking every day like you know Mick Maynard like Alexa come on and like me please tell me please tell me what's going on and he say calm down calm down so I'm just breathing I'm just waiting and training that's the most important thing that I have to do and it's going to be a huge card. I'm pretty sure of that. Alexa, how, uh, how proud are you about Diego Lopez is doing on Saturday? Huge fight. And to think if he wins this, it could be very close to having two champions on your team. I know. I mean, uh, Diego is my coach and, and my teammate also. He's been t teaching me. Like, he's always close to weight, weight class. He's always training because he's also a coach. He's always helping a lot of athletes. So he's always, you know, training, maybe not at high, high competition uh, training, but he's always, you know, he's always on, on a medium level. So this fight, when it came, he was, of course, I'm going to do this. Of course, I'm going to fight. And two, two weeks notice, I don't care. I mean, he loves to fight. He loves, you know, the, the, the war. And we, as a team, we're proud of him and excited for him because we know that winning in a amazing way that he always do uh, he could be on the line for being a title contender uh, Alexa, I want to ask you about some of the other stuff. We just saw that Rosa Namajunas is going to be taking on Tracy Cortez. What do you think about that fight? Wow, that's a really, really nice match. Um, I admire bo both of them. I think uh, Tracy is a wrestler. Now she's improving her striking role. She has like so, so long training. She was a champion. She has like a lot of experience in the case. So um, it's going to be an amazing fight. I'm excited to watch that fight too. This may be more of a question for Dana and Sorry. Hunter, but people talk about if Conor McGregor would be added to the sphere, and people thinking, well, you can't do independence <laughs> Conor, like you would take away from the attention. What do you think? Do you think there's enough room to both celebrate Mexican Independence Day and still have the return of Conor? On well, the imagine that. I mean, I would love to share a car with, with Conor McGregor. I think it could be huge. I mean... Our flags are kind of similar, so yeah, it's gonna, it will be amazing to share a car with him. Alexa, uh, obviously your opponent could be Valentina. Uh, there was some talk that she could not fight in, during the Mexican Independence Day. Um, Manuel Fioro is on the rise. She said that she won't fight you if Valentina is not coming up. What do you think about Manuel and if the fight is interesting. Well, I think that Manon is a super strong fighter. I've been watching her career for so long too. I mean, I've been watching, I've been watching all the flyweights. So um, I would love to fight her too. I think that the flyweight division right now is super strong. All the girls are super tough. Each each one of them has their strong weapons. So I'm, I'm happy, you know, to be part of this group of strong women. And will you confirm that Valentina may not fight against you during the Mexican Independence Day? What was Valentina Shevchenko. Um, there are some talk that she may not fight you uh, during this Independence Day. Uh, is this true? Or well, I don't know. You know, I'm still waiting. I have to be part of the card. That's something 100% sure. But I'm still waiting for the opponent. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I learned a lot. Like being there I, maybe I was not in the house locked in but I was there every day two times sessions like fighting one week like training one week and you know living with the guys that's watching them when we were arriving they were leaving so we were all the team you know it was hard it was really really hard uh, but it was a really cool experience I learned a lot but uh, the thing I told you I'm not a coach I'm, I'm an athlete and the thing I learned the most is how do my coaches do. So I just try to mirror them, to tr try to feel, make the guys feel comfortable at home, like as a family, as a team. And I think it's working really good.
¿Cuál es tu mensaje para tus aficionados mexicanos y latinos? Porque estamos aquí celebrando una noche para los mexicanos y los latinos. Claro, bueno, a mí yo hablo español, obviamente, pero me, me, me están preguntando en inglés. <risa> eh, nada, solamente muchas gracias por el apoyo, de verdad que siento muy, muy bonito sus mensajes y, y, y pues ver ¿no? toda la pasión que tiene la, la, la gente latina. Y nada, gracias, créanme que estoy entrenando bien duro para darlo todo el, el día de la pelea. Can you tell us how special it will be to fight this day particularly for you? How, how what? How special is it to fight oh. on this card specially? Well, it's huge. I mean, Noche Wolf is a, it's made for Mexico, like 100% for Mexico, like all the athletes that are part of the UFC that are come from Mexico. I mean, they're warriors. I mean, we are so, so tough and it's really good that uh, finally we are having, you know, this, um, how can I say, like, you know, these things, <laughs> it's really, really cool and inspiring. It's very, such an amazing place. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. I think this is, um, this is special. <laughs> Thank you.